Outside, inside, out. What does it mean? We are talking today about how to ride a blind curve and why it's so important and definitely to your advantage to always ride outside, inside, out. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And today we're going to cover riding a blind curve. We're going to get on the bikes and go find a blind curve, except we're going to take it one step further because we know you all have seen the illustrations. They show it in every single course outside, inside out. But a lot of riders are still having a problem wrapping their head around a concept, but only when they're riding. We all understand what it means. But when we get out there and ride, we still see people riding the inside through a curve their entire way. So we're going to take it one step further and show you with an object in the road, the advantages of riding on the outside versus riding on the inside. So stick with us. We're going to hop on the bikes. Go find us a blind curve right quick. OK, we're out and about on a back road here in Northern California called Patterson Pass. On a, on a good day, you find a lot of bikes riding this area. We're trying to find a spot we can do a blind curve. Kick you on the air? I'm with you. Right behind. All right, cool. So once we find a good location where we can see vehicles approaching, then we're going to show you step by step. And the reason we need the ultimate, the best location is because we want it to be a blind curve, and we're going to be in the middle of the street. We're going to demonstrate the advantage of riding outside, inside, outside. Now one can make an argument, in fact one did, <laughs> say that oh, I ride inside all the time. He's got a lot of ride. Well fortunately that person did not get into no accident riding inside all the time. And he actually said they don't have no problems with it. Well you ain't gonna never have a problem riding the inside until it becomes a problem. <laughs> and then Exactly. And then it's too late. You know, they're riding a blind curve, riding the inside only, and there's something in the middle of the street, which we're going to demonstrate. We're going to have a middle of the street roadway around a blind curve. We're going to continue to ride this until we find a good location. And I think I know a good location. Okay, probably at Top of the World. Yeah. That point called Top of the World on this road. Top of the World with a lookout here. Exactly. That's what, that's what I'm thinking about going to. Because up there we can see cars coming miles away. And don't worry, we will have communication to everybody. So even though we're going to be in the middle of the street. Like I like this one right here. This is a small street, but this is a blind curve right here. Right. And I want to stay on the outside as much as possible without going over the line because cars ride back here. And no use me flying around the curve to take my time. It's a two-way street. Yeah. Kind of the gorge down to the left that we can't see. So we're going to continue on. We're probably going to turn the camera off until we get to our location. And then we're going to start the demonstration. You do not want to miss this demonstration we're about to do. And we know all bikers know the benefit of riding. Well, I can't say all. <laughs> All bikers have heard of riding outside, inside out, but really don't know the, the benefits if they never really see an object in a roadway. So this is what we want to create. We want to create an object in a roadway and show you how early you can actually see it compared to riding on the inside. The street got a lot better right here. Okay, we made it up to the spot that we're going to use for the video today. Kind of windy up here but a nice blind curve. So what's gonna happen is we can see two miles down that way. Kate's gonna be in the middle of the road. I'm gonna come from this way and I can see vehicles coming from behind. And we're gonna use this road with this hill as a blind curve and show you step by step. What's gonna happen is I am gonna have this headpiece on so you, my camera will catch everything that my eye would see. And I will explain it as I go along. Okay, we're ready to get going. As I'm riding, I'm riding my bike. I'm coming around this corner. It's a blind curve. Check my back, make sure everything clear down the hill. And I'm riding, and I have my cones to represent how soon I can see her. I'm riding, 
I'm on the outside. You are want to ride on the outside to see things early as possible. And now I can see her right now, just this spot. So what I'm going to do is drop this cone to where I can see her. And from here, all I'm going to do is take one step over to my right, representing not on the line. I'm riding, riding, riding. I can see her again. So I'm going to take another step over and I can no longer see her. Let me check my rear. Okay, continuing on. I'm riding, riding. I can no longer see her. Now I can see her. See, if I lean this way, you can see her whole body. But right now, I just want to see where, how early I can see her. Now I'm going to step all the way over to riding the inside line where you should not want to ride. So I'm riding, riding. Can you see her? I can see her right here. I'm going to drop this cone. So now, I'm going to go a little further to where I can see her whole body. This is where I can see her whole body right now. So from here to where cake is standing, it's probably about 50 feet. Now, if I go all the way back here, there's another 30 feet to where I placed the first cone. So if I'm riding on the outside, right here, look how much room I have to maneuver. Where, she, where I was on the inside, I have no room to maneuver. By the time I see the object and realize there's an object there, I'm still right. I'm going, oh my goodness, something in the road. I need to get over or slow down or press my brakes. Since I'm already leaning into the curve, I panic, lift my brakes, and when you panic, the bike's straight now. I gotta figure out what to do because now I'm fixated on this curve and I go over this cliff and we all know the results of that. So come here, Kate. So this is why we want to put something in the roadway to show you the advantage of riding on the outside, inside out. As I got closer to her, I only had like 40 to 50 feet to maneuver when I was riding on the inside. And when I was riding on the outside, I had at least 70 to 80 feet when I first saw her to maneuver. So ladies and gentlemen, we want to bring that to you to show you why it's always to your advantage 100% of the time to ride on the outside versus the inside. Just in case you see something on the road. Now if you see something that's beautiful on the road, you better stop and say hi. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, that includes our demonstration of riding on a blind corner, curve, whatever you want to call it, and your advantages of riding, always riding on the outside first, coming to the inside at the apex, and then coming back to the out. But mainly we want to demonstrate that you can see an object much earlier by riding on the outside. Ready, baby? Ready, Santa. Clear behind. Pull out. So we're going to finish riding this curve. This motorcycle is coming up. Highway. Kind of rough right here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you're out riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. I'm Rich from Boots and Jeans Riders. And I'm Kate. And we out. Peace. Peace.